foundry. He went to a crude foundry, ore from the mines around Fort Draco was dumped into the pool of molten stone and metal to the north, where natural heat and magical forces extract the pure iron. Eventually, ingots are molded from the carefully extracted iron. It's amazed that something like this could be constructed down here. Metal is necessary for Avernum's survival. What is this on the ground here? <gasps> oh, I need those bars. Okay, he's not looking. Crime of scene. Fuck. Okay. I'm done stealing. Why are there two bills in here? What the fuck? What? I'm so confused. Okay, so he shapes ingots. Okay, okay I guess there are two different people. That's so weird. Why oh, shape the- I'll give him the same voice though, because I think it's funny. I shape the ingots so they could be shipped out. You know, a vertum gets all its good metal from here. What's so special about the metal? Well, it's metal that makes it rare. Down here, I mean. The best mines are around here. So there you go. We got the purest metals. Bill and I keep this pit running. Isn't your name Bill? We're both named Bill, he screams. I'm Bill, and he is Bill as well. <laughs> what sort of metal do you find? Mostly iron, but there have been a few rare strikes of gold, and sometimes lapis lazuli and redstone. I think that's a Minecraft reference right there. Well, maybe not. I mean, this game is a remake to the 2001 Avernum, which is a remake of the 1995 Exile. <laughs> uh, this game came out in 2011, this, this, this remake. So that, that was after Minecraft, so yeah, maybe they added this in, I don't know. I doubt it, though. I think, I think, uh... Lapis Lazuli and Redstone are, are, like, real things, but... Actually, I don't think Redstone is a real type of ore. I know Lapis Lazuli is. What can you do with them? Nothing yet, but we'll figure something out. Okay. Alright, cool. Well, I got all I needed. Wait, is this locked? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, I can't get in there. Let's see what's in here. This huge open building is filled with heaps of raw ore. Each pile is marked with a small sign indicating who owns it. It's probably where the miners bring their valuable ore, freshly chipped from the stone walls of Averna. Ooh. Nice. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Oh, I got three hammers. I don't need another one. Cool. That lava pit, though, is kind of creepy. I guess we'll leave. Alright, so... No. I want to bring... Bars and hammers back. So yeah, back to Silvar we go. Alright. Okay, here he is. You deliver the equipment to Ephraim. After inspecting it and verifying its quality, he pays it with a generous pouch of silver coins and a pretty nice broadsword. Lost a job board. Ephraim still has needs. That saying he's still probably gonna have some. Okay, yeah, but to say that job board better still be there. Tongs and pincers. Okay, now I need to collect more stuff. <laughs> the note from Ephraim the series: I have been tasked to work spears and halberds to fend off the enemies of Silvar. Paying coin three tongs and three pincers. The needs urgent. Bring the goods to me in the workshop. So tongs and pincers. Do I have those? Tongs and pincers. Be her that probably would have them. Oh, I dropped them, didn't I? I know I had pincers at one point. Wherever the hell they went is way beyond me. It's way beyond my recollection. There might be stuff in this little pile here. No, there isn't. I remember I put dropped up a pile over here. Oh, 
Okay, well over time we'll have to collect those as well. Okay. Okay, let's go down here. Bandages, I guess we'll take those. Bunch of food. Maybe I'll find some tongs and pincers down here. <laughs> Might, I mean, I might. Oh shit. Pen wizard. Powerful. Okay, let's, uh. Stand right here. And blow some cold air in there. Yeah. Do a little something like that. And she will pour down some ice. Yes. Alright, not too hard. You good? Not really. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh, Nafils. Or Nafars. Oh, these ones are. Nefarlum, I think Nefarlums are the more powerful variants. That's why these guys don't die very easily, right? That would make sense. Attack that guy. Hmm. Okay. okay. Get out of my way, mage. Okay. Ball on him. I mean, we might as well just cast spells. I mean, we can just leave here. And, oh shit, not, not that spell. We can just leave here and already uh, uh, recover a life. That's well, probably just in our best interest, really. Alright. Viper skin boots. Poison resistance. Okay. I have that in my arsenal. Okay, let's see. Those clover boots. Nimble boots plus one to dexterity. Blessed boots. We'll give her the these these boots here. Everybody has like some sort of magical boot. Okay, mining tunnels to the north. Let's take a look around this place. You find a mine. Several dozen strong, sweaty men and women are working hard hauling ore out and empty carts in. They don't give you a second look. You're too busy supplying a vernum with precious, valuable me metal. You enter the mine and poke around for a little while. The operations are crude but effective. Iron ore is stripped out of the walls and hauled out in carts, or it is taken to Fort Draco for processing. Uninvited, you explore for a little while. Soon, however, guards appear and escort you out. Well, gee, thank you, guards. Ah, oh, damn it, those guys are blocking me. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Now we can pass them by. Find a mine. Okay, same thing. Okay. Same problem. Nothing good down there. Alright. There is an abandoned mine here. Its entrance almost but not quite blocked by rubble. You try to do a thorough search, but there is too many twisted tunnels. You eventually give up and leave. Okay then. Eight miles. Damn. Okay. It's actually a way to walk. <laughs> All right, um, let's go this way now. You start to notice an increasing incidence of spider webs in this section of the tunnels. This is matched by a noticeable absence of small spiders and other creatures. There must be lots of spiders around here. Uh oh. You summon a group of Avernite soldiers. 
have gotten themselves into a difficult center. They're surrounded by spiders. So the lieutenant will attack them. All right, let's save these soldiers. Oh, hey, they're on my side. Cool. Oh, they're helping me. Oh. Oh, I like this. This is nice. Wow. They literally dazed us all. Ever knights are fools. Why you miss? I guess it'd be easy to miss a rat, I suppose, but depending on how big it is, I mean, <laughs> the fight concluded. The soldiers thank you heartily for their help. They will gather up their fall and move quickly back to their base. I saved some soldiers, cause they is noobs. Oh God damn it! Spiny crawlers. They're a new enemy. they doing? What they do? They squirt at me. Took physical damage out of it. Hmm. Interesting. It's damaging me. Very cruel. Very cruel indeed. Okay, let's save again. <laughs> Lots of saving in this area. But hey, what can you do? Okay. Where am I on the map? I'm so I'm unsure. Oh, dude, I'm down here. Okay. I'm across the big river. I thought I had crossed the big river. I've been like, yeah. But nope. I am not. I suspect there's something hidden here. Ah, oh, damn it. I love cave lore, of course. Figures, right? Gotta have cave lore. There's a way to travel a very long distance. Okay, yeah. Do I even need to be in this cave? Spider cave. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that woman wants to kill, collect those spider or things or whatever they're called. I don't remember what she called them. It's called something of that dilio sort. The walls of this valley are covered with thick, impassable sheets of spider web. However, instead of an eerie silence you might expect, you hear coming from somewhere a lot of high-pitched voices. They seem to be squeaking in your t speaking in your tongue, though you aren't quite sure what they're saying. Whoa. They're talking spiders? Is that what's going on? The cave is filled with webs, stretched floor to ceiling and stalagmite to stalagmite. Spiders run in, up and down them and back and forth across the floor and ceiling. These are large spiders. Most of them three to four feet tall. However, something weird is going on. First, the spiders are all talking. Second, they are talking in really high-pitched voices. Third, well, they seem to be somewhat eccentric. Fortunately, the spiders seem to be quite friendly, both to each other and to you. They don't seem to regard you as prey. Always a good sign. So they're nice spiders. What the fuck does that ever happen? <laughs> That's all that's in there. You try to talk to the spider, but it's too shy. It lets out a loud spray squeaking noise and runs away. I didn't mean to hurt you. 
You don't gotta worry about me. Seriously. I'm a good man. I'm friendly. Okay, so they're all gonna be pussies to me. It makes me feel bad. That's no secret. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised they don't want to kill me. I wonder if it'll be like that the Harry Potter movie where where they're good until like the Spider King is like kill them <laughs> or whatever it does. See a smallish spider. It giggles when it sees you. It is walking around looking closely at the webs. You ask its name. It says in a quiet, high-pitched voice, "I'm Spider." <gasps> oh, that's the guy I was looking for. Why are you looking up the webs? I'm an inspection spider. Neat, huh? My mission is to walk around and look at the webs to make sure they're safe and stuff. You know, webs are very useful. Useful for what? When you, like, want food, you can build a web, and then bugs will fly into it, and you can eat them. Yum. It looks like one of you over. It looks one of you over. You're cute. Cute. You're all tall and shiny, and you aren't covered with little brown hairs. And I think you're neat. You're welcome. The spider walks off, continuing its expansions. The passage here is blocked by an exceptionally thick wall of webs. Unlike the other webs you've seen, no bugs hang off this one. A spider walks up behind you and says, We trapped some bad, bad people back there. They were mean and attacked us, so we walled them up. Then it gives you a quick hiss and runs away. I'll help you. Oh, I think they're dead. <laughs> okay, there's probably, there might be another way around. You see a spider. It stares at you happily with its big beady eyes. Hi, I'm a spider. Yep, I'm looking for a cute girl spider, it says with its chirpy, cheery voice. He winks at you. I was on a big mission, but I finished it. What mission did you finish? I was looking for a fly, it thinks. But then I caught one, and I ate it. It was yummy. It thinks more. Some spiders like gnats more. They're silly spiders. Do you know where we could find some great treasure or magic spells or other valuable stuff? Well, I think I saw some rocks outside. They were all pretty and gray. Or do you humans not like those? I can't ever figure you guys out. Oh. No offense. I still think you're really cute and stuff. And only two legs? That's really neat. Must be hard to keep from tipping over. Spider walks off, continuing its hunt. Okay. Damn it. I think I'm like blocked right here. Oh, there's two spider dudes. Let's right, so talk to the lower one. Let's talk to the higher one. You see an old gigantic spider with its eyes closed. It seems to be talking to itself. It seems to be trying to, sp to be somber with the shrill, high-pitched voice sort of spoils the effect. It says to you, Greetings to you! In the name of the mighty Spider Lord, I am Spider. May I ask what you are doing? May the Spider Lord bless you, young ones. I was reciting the Spider Lord's articles for living. You see, I teach the, little sp the littler spiders the great Spider Lord. Tell me about the spider lord. He's a huge spider, like a god, and he makes huge spider god webs, and he catches really big flies, and he does stuff, and stuff. It's neat. Nearby spiders stop and listen to this, fascinated. Your spider lord sword sounds really stupid. I can't believe you take that seriously. No, I'm not gonna say that. I might get killed. Your spider lord sounds very, uh, very interesting. Oh, he is. He is. Mm, or she is. I can never remember. We've noticed that all spiders are named Spider. Why is that? Because that is what the great Spider Lord says all spiders should be named. And what else would a spider be named? You're silly. Okay, yeah, I can't be mean to him anymore. Okay, let's uh, wander away and up this path here.